all landing parties to muster at transporter room three. Beam down is at 1700. I believe that's everything. Captain? Oh yes, one last point. The high level of anti-decyon particles in the atmosphere of Vanadar 12 prevents the use of our universal translators, so each landing party team will be assigned a linguistics expert that they must use. Lieutenant Uhura, I'll be relying on you in this regard. Thank you, Captain. Yes, I have a picked team of expert translators standing by, each capable of speaking the native lingo. We'll be ready, sir. Great. In that case, dismissed. How exciting. The Vanadarians should prove to be very interesting. I hear every inhabitant wears the same outfit and hat. Pity we'll have to go through intermediaries to talk to them. I agree. They have a rich and ancient culture. In terms of interaction, though, the personnel from the sickbay won't be using any translators. Why is that? Aren't they mandated for each landing party? Yes, all the other teams of ship's personnel will be relying on them to communicate, but my medical team will be all right without them. Hmm, that doesn't seem to make sense. Oh, we'll manage. Excuse me, ladies, I couldn't help overhearing. Yes, Mr. Spock? The argument you are employing, nurse, is not logical. In fact, it exhibits special pleading, an informal fallacy related to double standards. Her position did seem to be somewhat unsupported. That is correct, Yeoman. Her argument was logically invalid. Special pleading, also called selective adherence, is an informal fallacy wherein one cites something as an exception to a general or universal principle without justifying the special exception. It is the application of a double standard and is related to lip service, rationalization, and diversion. This fallacy occurs when an individual applies different standards or rules to themselves than to other people. It is also often used to gain an unfair advantage or to escape responsibility for one's own actions. Nurse Chapel, you exhibited special pleading when you suggested that medical staff need not use native translators in violation of the captain's orders without stating specifically why that was acceptable in this instance. Thank you, Mr. Spock. Oh, I should reassess my thinking. That would be best. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be valid unless the form is valid and that it does not exhibit one of the logical fallacies such as special pleading or selective adherence. It's only logical 